Hey everybody, I'm going to show you my trick how I peel bananas without getting the banana dirty. Um, and I have a bunch of bananas here. Let me see if I can show you without disturbing how I have the camera. Look. Look at all these bananas. Okay. And that's the compost bin that I'm going to put them away in. Let's see if I can get this back up here now to show you guys. Uh-oh. Okay. Here's how I... Here's how... I'm grabbing the banana down here, so if you're missing me, this is how I do it. So I got the banana. I'm not going to touch the banana. Peel it like this. Right? And then I take each side of the peel and dump it like that. That way you don't have to disinfect the bananas ahead of time. And you don't touch the banana because the bananas on the outside, I'm sure, have germs. You know how I'm always telling y'all to disinfect the outsides of your fruit. I just wanted to show you this trick. All these bananas are going to get freeze dried. And I got to pre freeze them in the freezer. And I just wanted to show y'all how I do it. I don't know if y'all can see, but I have these gel nails on, and they don't last me but a day, because I've washed my hands too many times a day. See, I'm not touching the banana. I'm just getting the peel off without contaminating the banana. Anyway, I won't hold y'all up too long. I just talked about this in one of my videos and I wanted to show you because I didn't know when I would have the opportunity to show you. And when you can get bananas on sale and they're like at this, uh-oh, this one's, this one's having a bit of a difficult time. So I'm just going to do that. You get a whole bunch of bananas on sale. And this is what you can do with it. Freeze them and then freeze dry them. If you freeze them, you can also use it for your uh, smoothies. You can make banana pudding. And you can freeze dry it for your freeze dryer. Cause, uh, freeze dry. You gotta, you've got to freeze it first. I usually freeze everything the day before and then stick it in the freeze dryer. Anyway, you see, I'm going to fill up all three of these containers here. And I don't know if I got enough room in my freezer. God, I hope so. Look at that. You see how easy that is? And then you wash your hands before you prep them. After I peel them all, then I'll wash my hands and then I can touch the book. Then I'll probably put on gloves, but still, if you touch the bananas after you wash your hands, but you don't want to touch them now because you got all this germs from the, from the uh, peel. Because there is no telling how many people have handled these bananas. No telling. All right, I got to start on another. On another one. I'm going to let y'all go. Just wanted to show y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Show something real quick. I ran out of space in the refrigerator. And, I mean, in the freezer. And so, look. You see this? How thin this is? This is like one of those signs you can get, like, a house for sale or whatever. It's like, uh... Some kind of corrugated, like, plastic stuff. Anyway.
Uh, let's see. I'm holding the camera crazy. Anyway, you see, it's not letting me focus. But, oh, yeah, see? It's that, that material. Anyway, I have put the... Um, Parchment, you can put parchment paper. I think this is uh, wax paper on top. And then I put the bananas. And then um, I am going to put um, aluminum foil on top of that and slide it into the freezer. Because that's thin enough that I can make room in the freezer. Just a little sliver on the shelf. 